Okay, we're gonna go outside, baby boys. Okay. You ain't gonna catch them squirrels. Good morning. Let me cut down my, let me cut down my Rick and Bubba phone. <laughs> okay, it's Friday and I worked today 10 to 6 and I just got out of the shower because it had been, you know, a hot minute and one too many dry shampoo days that I had to wash my hair. So I went ahead and showered and everything and I'm going to make me some breakfast, which is going to include some pretty typical staples. Um, I'm going to be doing three egg whites, one whole egg, and either oatmeal or Ezekiel toast. Haven't decided yet. And of course some coffee, of course, to get my morning started. So I'll show you what I end up eating. Okay, so typical breakfast. I made three egg whites and one whole egg. And then I had oatmeal and some cookie butter because I'm obsessed with cookie butter and I need an intervention. And then while I was cleaning out the last little bit of cookie butter in the jar, I accidentally overcooked my egg because usually I leave a runny egg so I can spread it all over but because I was mindlessly cleaning out the cookie cookie butter jar I let my egg overcook but it's okay it's okay so we're good to go yeah wanted to show y'all a typical work outfit for me at least in the winter time um, I'm pretty sure I've showed y'all before but I usually just wear some black pants or tights and some cowboy boots and just a nice casual shirt because I'm not a very professional pharmacist and I am a country girl and I love my boots. So, and my patients love my boots too. So I get on my Ariats. This is what my typical winter outfit looks like for me. So yes, I'm getting ready to go to work now. The worst part of my morning is when I gotta say goodbye to baby boys. That's so sad. My sweet baby boys. Also, I'm not having to worry about fixing any lunch or bringing any food to work today because actually one of our patients is offering to buy us lunch today. He does this periodically, at least like once a month he comes by the pharmacy and since we take care of him, he takes care of us. He's one of the very few nice patients we actually have come to our pharmacy and actually appreciate what all we do for them. So he's actually buying us lunch today, so I'm going to partake in that. So I'm not really gonna worry about packing anything to bring to work today. I will probably at the pharmacy, probably get me like a protein bar or like something as like a pre-workout snack because we're going to the gym today because Kelsey was bad and I did not fitness yesterday. Um, me and Cody slept in. I took an unexpected rest day, but it was fine. But today we have to fit this, okay? And I'm letting y'all hold me accountable. If I put this video up and there's not a workout in it, I was not accountable to myself or to y'all. So hold me accountable today, okay? Okay. Ooh, it is cold. We just went from 72 degree weather like two days ago to 32 degree weather and it's snowing in parts of Alabama and we never get snowed down here in Alabama but in Auburn it's not snowing it's just kind of raining slash sleeting I was kind of hoping that we were going to have like an ice day so I didn't have to go to work today but my Walgreens is 24 hour Walgreens and we never close and I mean like never anyways I guess it's not that bad outside I'm just looking for an excuse not to go to work but who doesn't look for an excuse not to go to work it's 8 o'clock right now I have to be at work at 10 o'clock um, and as y'all know I work an hour away and in a different time zone so I always have to leave my house two hours early to get to work so that's why I'm about to leave my house right now and we're gonna have a full work day I work 10 to 6 and then when I get off as mentioned I'm going to the gym we are going to fitness today. I know it's going to be dark and it's going to be really cold because it's supposed to be like in the 20s. So probably by the time I get off work, it's gonna be in like the 30s still. I'm like dreading, um, I know I'm gonna be dreading going to the gym tonight and Cody is working and all I want to do is go home and snuggle on the couch with Slater Mater next to the fire and watch a movie or something. But anyways, so, okay. I'm going to get ready and go to work, and we're going to have a fantastic day because I said so. I'll see you on next clip. Okay, made it to work. 
Okay, so I have about 15 minutes before I actually go into work and I always like to take this time to just kind of have a last minute pep talk, last minute few words with God, and a last minute little devotional because I always like to start my work day off that way, like in the right mindset. Um, because it's a very tough job that I have. So I have to go in there with the right mindset and then just positive and just knowing that today is going to be a great day no matter what. And at least it's Friday, so I don't have to work this weekend. So that's always a plus. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a little bit of a devotional time right now before I go to work. And I will see y'all after the work day is over. So I'll see y'all in a couple of hours. Okay, made it to the gym. It's 5.45 now, and it's like 36 degrees outside, and it's still cold and rainy and gloomy out, and all I want to do is go home and snuggle with Slater and eat some warm, comforting food and sit by the fire and watch some TV, but like I said, I was going to hold myself accountable today since I skipped out on working out yesterday morning that I was going to do fitness tonight, so I'm determined to get this workout in and I'm going to try to do it really fast and I just realized too that I did not bring a hair tie so I'm going to have to work out with my hair down. But that's okay. I don't plan on breaking too much of a sweat in there tonight because it's so cold outside but yeah so I'm going to go ahead and get my workout on. I'm going to take my pre-workout shot and then I'm going to get to it so I'll see y'all in the workout. <laughs> Goodness, later, Mater. I'm home. Mommy's home. Were you a good boy today? Oh, baby boys. Were you a good boy today? Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Hey, give me a high five. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness, baby boys. I miss you so much. The gym was actually pretty packed tonight. It's quite shocked actually. Usually on Friday nights the gym isn't that packed. Anyways, I was able to get, get in and out pretty quickly. I didn't do the little bit of cardio that I had at the end of my workout. I was supposed to do like eight rounds of like farmer's carry and some jump squats, but I just did uh, like 10 minutes on the stair stepper and watched a vlogmas video on YouTube and then I got out of there because I wanted to come home to baby boys um, and then I'm just about to make me um, some dinner. It's probably going to be the only thing I eat tonight. I might have a little snack later on but I'm going to heat up some. I got some chopped up steak in here and I made in the crock pot earlier this week and I've got some already steamed rice that I'll put in there as well. And then I've got some steamed carrots that I'll just throw all together and just eat that as one big like steak rice bowl and some carrots in there as some vegetables. And that is going to be it. So yeah. 
Okay, so not the most aesthetically pleasing looking dinner, but gains. This is all gains. I also wanted to show y'all my Christmas tree since I finally got all the ornaments and everything put on it. So we never ended up getting a tree topper though. We usually have like a star or like a burlap bow to go up there. But of course our burlap bow got ruined in the garage from my previous video I showed. But I just wanted to show all the fun little ornaments that I got. So obviously me and Cody are big into like outdoors themes and like hunting in anything country. And I just really like all the cute little knickknacks and stuff that I have on here. So a lot of uh, burlap and fun little acorns and owls and we have like deer heads in there and deer ornaments and cody wanted this big old deer ornament right there so it's fun we got some fun little sparkly snowflakes in there so yeah perfect right up my alley i love it it's such a cute little tree i want to be able to add more fun little stuff like these little owls to it for it next year so hopefully these decorations don't get ruined in the garage we're gonna have a better strategy about putting up our christmas stuff this year hopefully so that's what my little tree turned out to look like so yeah that's our fun little christmas tree so the fun part about having a christmas tree in your house is you have a fun pretty background to talk in your videos with. I'm just about to chow down on my supper and I just wanted to end this video by saying something um, about today and the other day. Uh, actually today I made a post about on Instagram and that's about discipline. So I know all today I talked about um, like self accountability and like holding myself accountable at going to the gym and I did and it's proof because I put it on YouTube. <laughs> but um, I just want to talk a little bit about like discipline and motivation. So. Um, you know, one of the questions I get asked a lot is about motivation and how I always stay motivated to always go to the gym. And the answer to that really is, is I'm not motivated to go to the gym every day. And the only thing that keeps me getting in the gym day in and day out or for like 90% of the time is discipline. I have learned self-discipline when it comes to the gym. So on those mornings, on basically every morning, I have to get up and go to the gym early before I go to work, which I talk about all the time. I hate working out in the morning time. It's just not, I'm just not a morning workout person. Um, it's not that I'm like not a morning person. I just personally hate to work out in the morning time. I, I just, I dread it. Every morning I have to get up and go to the gym early in the morning, I personally dread it. But the only thing that gets me there is discipline. It has nothing to do with motivation because clearly if motivation was the only thing I relied on, I would fail every time. And I just wanted to put that out there that you're not always going to have motivation. Motivation is an emotion and it's going to come and go. But the one thing that is going to always keep you on track or dedicated or committed to whatever your goal is or whatever it is that you're going after that you have that drive for and that's self-discipline. And I rely so much on my self-discipline and no, I don't always have 100% discipline because obviously yesterday morning I intended to go to the gym but I didn't, but that's okay. I, you know, I took a needed rest day and it was great. But tonight when I could have just gone straight home after working at the pharmacy and I didn't have the greatest day at the pharmacy. It was it wasn't like a rough day, but like I was just so exhausted like mentally, mentally and physically that all I wanted to do was go home and lay on the couch, cuddle up in my blanket with my space heater and Slater next to the fire, next to my Christmas tree and just, you know, watch Netflix or YouTube's all night. And and I didn't you know, and it's and it's rainy outside. It's snowing in parts of Alabama. It's snowing back home in Wetumpka at my mom's house, which is like an hour away. It's snowing there, and we don't have any snow. It's just wet and cold and rainy here. But anyways, I could have gone home tonight because I didn't want to go to the gym, but I didn't because discipline is what got me there. So I just wanted to bring that to the attention of, you know, you can't always rely on motivation, but you can rely on self-discipline. So you just have to learn to find self-discipline. And I promise that will take you farther than waiting and relying on motivation any day. So that is it. I'm just going to end this video. I have tomorrow is Saturday. I don't work this weekend at the pharmacy, but I have got to pretty much do all my Christmas shopping tomorrow. So I am determined to get out in this cold weather fight the crazy Christmas crowd that's going to be out. I know there's going to be just a whole bunch of people out and I've got to go Christmas shopping, but this is like the last weekend I can pretty much do it. So anyways,
That's it. That's all I got. So I'm going to enjoy my food. I'm going to cut on some Netflix and YouTube. And I'm going to snuggle with Slater Mater. And we're going to have ourselves a great night. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. You want to say bye? Do you want to say bye to YouTubes? Okay, bye. 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 Okay, bye. Hmm. <laughs>